Yeah, I'm about to get a story time. Um, I actually went to prison dealing with a, a hood rat chick. Um, I'm I'm at my spot one day. We we used to we used to. I don't know how the, the young dudes doing it now, but it, it'll be a group of us. They say it's five, six, seven, eight of us, right? We we'll all put in money. We would all find a chick or, or or find a dude who had a job or whatever, and we would all pitch in money and get an apartment somewhere in the neighborhood. Right, get an apartment or something and, and rent an apartment. And we would basically turn this into a trap, right? So if the rent back then five, six, seven hundred dollars, you divide that between, you know, six to ten people. So at the most you paying, you know, then add in lights and water, then cable and uh um we had just started to do the internet back then, uh cable and utilities, add all that. You paying a hundred dollars a month per person to you know, and we all got this spot. So we we find a chick, you know, with a good job and all this, and you know, make her fall in love and all that. And then boom, you know, get us an apartment or whatever. We do this six seven months, trap it out, move to another apartment in the same neighborhood or even in the same complex with a different chick. So we we, we would be doing this right. Uh, Cause initially we, when I first started, we would be doing it ourselves, but we started to use other people's names, uh, chicks and or, or dudes that we knew like with square jobs or whatever. So I'm at one of my spots with well, one of our spots. It's not just me, it's me and my group of homies. And um, when I, back then I used to walk with, um, <clears throat> I, I used to walk with kind of, I used to walk kind of funny cause I pulled my hamstring like I, I think it's my hamstring, something behind the thigh. When I was maybe fourteen, or f- fourteen years old, playing football, this this killed my sports career. Um, I pulled my stuff real bad, and I couldn't play f- no more. Whatever, and I had this walk for a while. Um, kind of walked a little funny and shit. So I'm walking. I'm going to meet my play in the front of the apartments. Um, going to meet my play in the front of the apartments. I catch my play. I come back. I'm walking funny, and I see this chick. She like, oh, um. You walking funny. What's wrong with your leg? I'm like, oh, I got hurt a long time ago. Da, da, da. So we start chopping it up. We kicking it. We cool. I'm like, you stay over here. I ain't never seen you. She like, yeah, I just moved over here. I'm from such and such. She she wasn't from the city. She's from another city in Florida. And she had just moved up there. She got an apartment over here. Hood rat. Right? So I'm thinking, okay, this the next, you know, I'm going to use her, t- you know, I'm thinking already like, okay, I'm finna use utilize so when we chopping it up. So we chopping it up. Um I'm like, well, slide over here tonight. This was and you gotta think, I meet her in the apartments, this pre social media. I mean MySpace, but it, you know, it wasn't really no MySpace, it was Black Planet, but you know, it was it wasn't on no, oh, we're gonna go on a date and all this. Remember, I told y'all I didn't go on dates with women until I was like 24, 25. So I'm like, come, come, you know, I'm we right here over here. She was like, Oh, you be over there with them? I'm like, Yeah. Um I'm like, I'm going to be over here. Uh, when, when you get done doing what you got to do later on, just come over here by 9 or something. I ain't give her a number. I was like, just come over there by 9. So she came over there that night. We chopped it up. <clears throat> uh, we chopped it up. Cool, whatever. She go home. I ain't smash her. The next day, she like, well, come come to the crib tomorrow, you know, and I'm cooking. It was Saturday. Come to the crib tomorrow. I'm cooking. Sunday. Hood rats cook good on Sunday. So uh, I go eat over there. Go to the crib the, the next night, that Sunday night eat good or whatever we vibe and i'm like this chick kind of cool i like her whatever whatever and i'm like shit if the spot get hit i don't want my stash you know my stash to be up in there my 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 guns to be up in there i'm finna move my shit to this chick house so i put my game down on her you know about a month about a month in all my stuff over here so it just in case anything happened over here the police raid this over here and now they ain't got I don't take no L You know what I'm saying I may go to jail or something Cause all this stuff in here But I'm not gonna take no financial L Because my bomb ain't You know Bomb is stash It's not <clears throat> You know My bomb ain't get caught up So this is just the way I'm thinking So You know This my little seat This my little safe spot So I got little Two little things I'm not serving out her shit, But I'm just like It's crazy The statute of limitations is up I end up going to prison And all that This was this was 2006, so this was a long, this is the old King Drake, right? But anyway, I, I'm, I'm down there get back and getting in my motherfucking element thinking about this shit. But, um, 
So yeah, I'm like, you know, I got, you know, my little safe spot over here. I'm going to sleep over here at night and everything. Cause it's like, I don't want to be out here in here all night. You know, come kick the door in or the police raided or whatever. So, you know, me and the hood rat, we cool, we vibing. But the thing is, I had a girl at the time. I don't know if I told a story about this girl. The girl that cheated on me when I was in jail. I don't know if I told that story on the podcast. I may have told it on YouTube or something like that. But the girl that cheated on me when I was in jail, I was dealing with her at the time. This was like my main girl at the time. Um, So, you know, I had a little, little double situation going on. But anyway, fast forward to when I get locked up, right? I, 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 um, I was on probation at the time. I was on probation at the time. And I, I couldn't get a job. Like one of, the, one of the stipulations of the probation was you had to have a job, right? So... I, I couldn't get it. I had got a job at KFC. And then as soon as like I was supposed to go to work that day, got the job. I was supposed to go to work that day. I went up there. It was like, oh, we had to, you know, we found your record. We can't have you up here. Right. So I'm like, uh, you're on probation or whatever it is, but you can't have you up here. So I just basically gave up on the job thing. And so it was time for me to go meet my uh, it was time for me to go meet. My PO, the monthly visit to the PO. I ain't got no job yet because she told me the month before, if you don't have no job next month, I'm violating your ass. So I'm like, catch me if you can. I'm the Brent gingerbread man. I don't go to my PO when it's time. So boom, I got a warrant out for me. So now it's like a week later. I'm on the run. I'm ducking off at the chick house. Laying low over here. We get into it with some some younger cats from the area. We, we in... We probably 21. The guys in my group, the, my, my homies, we anywhere from 21. I probably was the youngest. 20, 21 to 24 was out of We get into it with some dudes who was like 17, 18 years old. It's a click of them, but they wild. They not hustling and getting money. They use they robbing up, shooting up. They these type of guys. Uh, the younger guys from, from our area or whatever. Uh, so we get into it with them over something stupid, and it turns into... It, it turns into gunplay, right? So I'm just setting the scene for you. I'm on probation, all this. I'm setting the scene and I'm setting the vibe of how I get uh, get locked up. So uh, now I'm on high alert because we we share the same area with these dudes. Uh, and I'm on probation. They got a warrant out for me, whatever, whatever. Doing all of this, remember, low quality women attract low quality people, right? So this is the lesson. The, the girl, the hood rat chick, her brothers come up from their hometown and they come live with her. Young, dusty, young cats. I mean, I probably was dusty too, but um, some little young cats, they more than 16, 17, 18 years old, something like that. Uh, when they get up there, I have a sit down and I talk to them. You know, they think I'm cool. I'm, you know, I'm hustling and, you know, so when they get up there, these little knuckleheads, I have a conversation with them, right? I tell them, hey, um, you know, be cool over here. This ain't the area for the bullshit. The, 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 the police own it. You, you got to be smooth over here. You go, that's going to go to jail. Uh, and one of the things I told them, do not smoke weed outside. Do not smoke weed outside. Do not smoke weed outside. Right. Um, and I explained to them why, you know, this is 2006. Weed ain't legal. Like weed is still taboo, and I'm in Florida. Weed is still damn near taboo, but weed is extra taboo. I'm in a, I'm in a red state. They red, the reds wasn't fucking with the weed like that. You see what I'm saying? They'll take you to jail for smelling it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and it's probable cause. So, the, the police they looking for drug action. So, you smoking weed, they see you smoking weed, they jump out on you. They pass you by, they see you smoking weed. They, they get together around the corner, mount up, boom, they come jump out on you, and they looking for the drugs now. You see what I'm saying? Because they think you're selling drugs and all of this shit. So I'm explaining this to them. If you're going to smoke weed, smoke weed in your sister's house, or come over here with us and smoke weed inside the house. Don't smoke weed outside, right? So I explained this. I got the beef going on with these dudes. Uh, it's not just me. It's my homies. We got these beef going on with these dudes, and it's, it's serious. One of my homies that was a co-defendant on the case that I got locked up in. He was a co-defendant on the case that I got locked up in. Um, that had me on probation, right? One of the cases, I was on probation for two cases. One of the guys was my co-defendant. We was both on probation together. Um, 
He is in a car driving with no license and get pulled over. So he got to go to jail. Since he committed a crime, which was driving with no license, they revoke his bond. Now he got a whole new case and he had weed and drugs on him. So he got a whole new case with no bond. So this is like, damn, I'm on the run. And he got locked off on something fluky like this. Let me just go turn myself in and get a technical violation instead of a new charge added on. In case some bullshit go down. So I go turn myself in. I give I give the little guys the little speech. I give her the speech. Hey, don't let nobody come here messing with my guns. Uh, you know, my, my, my stuff over here and all this, right? Uh, so I go to jail. I go put my money up. The little money I had, a couple thousand dollars or whatever. Go put that up. Yeah, I'm 20, 21 at the time. I go put that up. I go turn myself in. My co-defendant gets sent to prison because he on a, a uh, he violated with a new charge. You stay in jail in Florida back then. You stay in, well in, you know, the county I'm in. You get a technical violation. You stay in jail for a week. You go see the judge next week. Uh, he go to prison. I get a break because it's my first technical violation, right? I get out. My plug calling me. Hey, I'm loaded. I'm like, nah, I'm going to chill for a little bit. I'm cool, right? I'm glad I didn't make this move with my plug because I would have been in prison for a long time. Plug like, hey, I'm loaded. Uh, as soon as I get out, I'm loaded. Let's get it. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. I'm going to just chill for a couple weeks. You know, let me try to find my job. Let me try to get my stuff together. What little bit I got, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to relax. He's like, cool, bet. This is a Friday. I got out of jail Friday. Sunday, I go to my hood rat house. I'm about to smash. <clears throat> I get into it with my, my main girl. Me and my main girl get into it. Me and my main girl get into it. And me and my main girl get into it. I'm at her house, right? She get into it. She catch an attitude with me. I go outside to smoke a cigarette. That's why I used to smoke cigarettes because I'm upset. I go back in the house. She locked the door to her room trying to be like, I'm locking you out or whatever. So I go back outside again, smoke another cigarette because I'm like, I'm going to haul ass. She locked the, the, the she locked her her her, her uh, front door, and it ain't like I'm cursing her out or being like arguing and fighting her and shit, cause I I ain't never been that type of dude. So she just mad at me for something. So now I'm like, damn, this bitch locked me out. So I'm sitting, there, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just finna dip. But some telling me don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Just chill here, work it out. But my mind, fuck these hoes, I'm not working out. Shit, I'm finna dip. Bitch. You ain't finna be trying me like that. So she opened the door. I go in there. She still got her room door locked. So I'm like, hey, look, I'm up out of here. I'm gone. Get in the car. I go to my side chick house. Right. And this didn't remind you, remind you, this in the same space that the same apartments that I that I was hustling out of. That me and my homies was hustling out of, hustling out of. So I go to the, to this um go to the side chick there house. Stop at the stop at the uh stop at the gas station. Get me a full pack of natural ice. <laughs> I just drink beer and shit too. Natural ice. Give me some Newport 100s to go to the house. I'm like I'm finna chill, swim in this pussy, and I'm finna just chill and relax. I get there, 15 minutes. I'm she give me a back massage. She massaging me. The police at the door. I come out the door. I come out the room, but the police is bamming like boom, boom, boom. Now my mind is telling me this: these dudes. They done figured out that I'm over here. These dudes that we into it with, and it's probably them. So I grabbed my biggest gun. Now, this is all public record. Uh, it was in the newspaper and everything. Uh, like It wasn't like headlines. It was like in a little small section in the back of it. <clears throat> like the little whatever. Um, I grabbed my my biggest my biggest gun, uh, AK-47. I can't believe I'm saying this on this podcast, but whatever. Because I'm thinking it's them. So... Cause I'm 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 with her. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like I'm thinking she is either that or she set me up or something. And I'm like, is that your brother? She was like, nah, my brother got a key. My brother went and not like that. So they beating boom, 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 boom. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'm about to smoke this chick because I'm thinking she set me up, right? Or it's these dudes. So I grabbed my biggest gun, grab it, because it was I left it under her bed. Now, mind you, I told her, keep my shit away from your brother when i go turn myself in remember i turned myself in for a week i got out on a friday this is sunday so i'm out two or three days two friday got out friday um friday um midday saturday sunday night before i go to jail i tell her tie my shit. don't let your brother and them get my shit. don't let them whatever so boom 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 at the door sunday night 
I'm there 15 minutes getting my back so I'm finna swim into some so now I'm thinking it's on I'm finna have to smoke somebody so I grab my shit and when I open the door to her room I'm coming out the room coming out the room I hear him tapping on the window and I hear police um <clears throat> I'm not like pointing it or nothing I just have it like I just have it like I'm creeping out of the room I got the door open and I'm standing out of the in the thing like this trying to see what's going on I hear police I'm like what the fuck police Go in the room, throw the shit under the bed, run upstairs. I don't know what the fuck I'm finna do. I'm finna jump out the back window. They got the shit surrounded. So I'm like, what the fuck? Right? But mind you, I'm standing in the doorway for like maybe a minute. I'm standing in the doorway for like maybe a minute, right? In her room doorway. And when you walk out of her room and you can see the front door. And you can see like the little window or whatever. So police, police, I go upstairs. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? I'm like, I know that... I ain't did nothing. I ain't served nobody. You know, it can't be no CI. I ain't served nobody since I've been out of jail. I didn't, I didn't meet my people. I ain't got no work over here. Nothing. Like, what the fuck is going on? So, throw the shit. This is how I go to prison. I throw the shit under. I throw the shit uh, under the bed, go upstairs. She go open the door. They pull her out. She had a daughter, nine-year-old daughter, sleep on the couch. Pull her out, pull her daughter out the house. They screaming for me to come outside. They screaming for me to come outside. Uh, I'm scared to come outside. I don't. So maybe like five minutes. They like, well, crawl down. I'm like, man, y'all going to try to shoot me. They like, no, nah, just come out. Da, da, da. Uh, we want the guns, this and this. So I'm like, what the f are they talking about? So they like crawl backwards, crawl down the stairs, crawl down the stairs and crawl backwards. <clears throat> crawl backwards out of the house. So... I do that, crawl backwards out of the house. They wrote me up, roughed me up. One of the officers telling me, hey, uh, where that gun at? I'm like, what gun? Like, you know what I'm talking about, where those guns at? I told him your mama sold them to me. I go off on him, I'm cussing him out. You ain't got no right, you can't search shit. F you, blah, 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 right? So he like, okay, so you want to be a smart ass. I got you. So they booked me on a whole bunch of fake shit fake charge they go in there they come out with the guns all that i'm like damn i'm about to be out of here <clears throat> but i'm thinking i just got gun charges i go down to the when i get to booking and it's a whole nother story inside of this probably tell it on another another podcast but i go down uh go down to booking and i see i got all these fake charges i got aggravated assault on the leo like this is why i'm a violent felon now i never basically it, he said that the, the, the officer that I cursed out and told him, you know, his mama gave him to me and all this, getting crazy on him or whatever. It's crazy, too, because when he put me in his he put me in his car, he was like, you're going to go to jail. I'm going to make sure you go to jail. You're going to prison. And he threw on Chameleon there, Riding Dirty. i never forget this. He threw this song on when Chameleon there had that song, Riding Dirty. This was around that time. It was big. He threw that song on the radio. Him and the female, he was with laughing. And he's like, I'm, you finna go to prison. Watch. So... I'm just thinking, okay, I got some gun charges, whatever. I go there, I got aggravated assault on the Leo, all type of shit, right? He basically said that I, I had us, we had a standoff. I was pointing a gun at him. We all know that if that would happen, I wouldn't even be here with this podcast. So I basically go to prison for something I didn't do because the gun charges, they didn't have a right to search the uh, the thing. So I don't have the gun charges. Like those gun charges, all those guns that they call is not on my record. From not, I don't have, I don't, I'm not convicted of any gun charges. I was arrested for him, but not convicted because they didn't have the right to even go in there like that. But I did the, the aggravated assault on the Leo and a prior drug case that I had, uh, um, uh, uh, a cocaine case that I had is on my record uh, that I'm convicted for. Um, so, uh, yeah, so he basically lied on me. Um, he basically lied on me. For a while, I didn't understand like why, the why that was I even in this situation. But I think that that was, you know, something telling me that I a, need to sit down. I need to sit my ass down somewhere and that everything happens for a reason, right? Um, so yeah, I'm basically a convicted felon for something I didn't do, basically, right? <laughs> now, I was living foul, and the way that you live does catch up to you. It's consequences to everything you do. The seeds that you sow are, are they're gonna come back to get you, right? Um, but the the what was ill about this, right? And I'm getting back to the the hood rat chick. So all of this is because I went to see this girl at her house. 
this shit had the reason why the police was there had nothing to fucking even do with me i just get caught up in this shit. like i'm literally at my girl house i go over here i'm getting a back massage the police show up for something that got nothing to do with me her little hood rat dumbass brothers was sitting outside smoking weed and the police jumped out on them they had a digital camera right they had a digital camera this was before it flipped this was before smartphones and all this shit. they had a digital camera she showed them dudes my guns they was taking pictures with my guns on the digital camera. When the police jumped out on them for smoking weed outside like I told them not to, they was looking through the camera and seeing the guns. He told them, I'm going to take your ass to jail for the for possession of weapons and this and this and that. Where are those guns? He said, that's my sister's boyfriend's. Where is that? Where them guns at? They in that house right there. And that's why the police came there like that. Had nothing to fucking do with me. You see what I'm saying? Fucking with a hood rat. I don't I don't fuck with hood rats, bro. Fucking with a hood rat. I told her, don't show your brother in my shit. I told him, don't smoke weed outside. If you're gonna smoke weed, this and this and that. And some hood rat shit with a hood rat bitch, I get caught up and lose my freedom for two years. Now am I blaming her? No, I'm blaming myself because I shouldn't have been in that position in the first place. I shouldn't have been dealing with her and I knew better in the first place. You see what I'm saying? But for those who ever wanted to know why why i went to prison or or with the situation that led me to prison it was that situation and i was convicted of something i didn't do you see what i'm saying um at all i didn't i would never point no gun at no motherfucking police officer or none of that shit. but it is what it is you, you know <clears throat> you know when you do dirt you get dirt you know when you live a certain type of way karma come the seeds you plant are gonna grow but i one thing i did learn is stay from hood rat shit. stay out them like that don't fuck with young dumb hood rat that that attract low quality hood rat people who don't fucking listen it's a reason that i told them jits jits florida shit. it's a reason that i told them not to fucking do that because i know better it's a reason that i told her don't show them this shit because i know what type of these little goofy ass kids be on and sure enough they sitting outside smoking sitting outside smoking the police jump out on them find this digital camera threaten them because they want these guns they taking pictures with them and all this threaten them right they threaten them oh put the squeeze on them where they at where the guns at if you don't tell me i'm gonna take you to jail for it right now you're gonna go to jail for this weed and you're gonna go to jail for guns they play them you're gonna go to jail for having guns and all that and you're gonna be over you're gonna be gone for at least 10 years oh they in that apartment right there uh my sister lived there that's her boyfriend and that's why they came there like that. That's why when I went upstairs to look out, the whole house was, the, the whole shit was surrounded and everything because they came in there for them guns. You see what I'm saying? They ain't had nothing to do with me. If I wasn't there, if I wasn't there, her sister would have, the sister would have went to jail. They end up taking us all to jail anyway, but I'm the one that it's stuck on. They dropped it all on them and it stuck on me. You see what I'm saying? Now that's, that was my stuff. Luckily, I didn't have like, we had this chick smoke weed. I got charged with her weed. She, she smoked weed. <laughs> she, she smoked weed. So <clears throat> her weed and all that that she had in house, a little couple, you know, whatever she had to smoke, it was my, it got put on me. So I do have misdemeanor weed cases, but it's with, I don't smoke weed. So, but that shit is on my record too, the misdemeanor weed, shit, which was her shit. But I, luckily, I didn't go meet my people. If I would have went and met my people, my plug was like, hey, I'm loaded and I would have go met him. I would have probably still been in jail right now for having all that shit and guns together. Probably just be getting out right now. So it was good that I didn't do that and I just wanted to chill. But I shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. I shouldn't have been fucking with no hood rat hole. It just in a in a messy situation. Even in that type of environment like that, I should have been hustling smarter. And I learned that in prison. Like if I'm gonna be out here, stop playing and stop putting yourself in certain types of certain situations. And when I got out of prison, I never moved like that again. I never did dumb shit like that again. I was never in a situation like that again. And I never went to jail again since then. You see what I'm saying now? I ain't cleaned up my act just then as soon as I got out of prison. I still was on it, you know, and I elevated my shit to a higher level. But I stopped moving a certain type of way. I stopped fucking with certain type of women. And I ain't been in jail since. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm far removed from the streets and shit now. Um, I don't live like that. I'm 100% legit, and I've been so for a long time. I pay taxes. I've been paying taxes, all that. So, you know, it is what it is. But I said all that to say, don't fuck with hood rats. If the hood rat is, a, is, is, if I wouldn't have been fucking with that hood rat, I wouldn't have 
I, I'm a vi- I'm labeled as a violent convicted felon because that that's a violent charge that I got put on. You see what I'm saying? That I, I didn't do. It had nothing to do with me, no none of that. Shit. You see what I'm saying? So me breaking that law that I learned, somebody taught me not to you know do shit like that. Me breaking that law, me breaking that law cost me severely. <laughs>